Now going to be starting my outside pre-trip inspection. Starting now, I'm going to give a general overview of my truck, making sure it's not leaning to the left or to the right, which would indicate a suspension problem, or I may have a flat tire. I'm also going to be checking under the truck to make sure there's no leaks, no hanging hoses. Starting off the top of my cab, on my left and my right side, I have my marker lights. These indicate the height, the width, and the length of the vehicle. The three lights in the middle are my V lights. These indicate that it is a commercial vehicle. Going down, I have my windshield, making sure it's not cracked or broken, free of any illegal stickers. My weather stripping around my windshield is not ripped or torn to prevent any water or air from coming into the cab. My windshield wipers are not cracked or broken, not missing, free of any debris to prevent any scratches to my windshield. Also making sure my wiper blades are not ripped or torn to prevent any scratches to my windshield. Going on to my headlights, I would use my high beams for the country, my low beams for the city. On my left and right side, I have my direction signals, which I would also use for my emergency four ways. I'm going to turn on my lights, make sure they're all working properly. Checking all my lenses, making sure they're not cracked or broken, uh, clean at all times, making sure I have no burnt out bulbs, all my bulbs are working um, correctly. I should have amber in the front for the color of caution and red in the back. Go in the back, check my lights, make sure they're working properly. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my lights. Starting off on the passenger side of my engine. Starting with my washer fluid reservoir. My reservoir is not cracked or broken. It's tied secure with its full set of nuts and bolts. Checking for any leaks under my reservoir. Making sure the fluid is at its proper level. Cap is on, tight and secure. It's not cracked or broken, not missing. Going on to my alternator. My alternator is not dent cracked broken or illegally welded. It's tied and secure with its full set of nuts and bolts. Checking my wires, making sure there's no bare wire showing that could cause a short. Went on to my serpentine belt, making sure it's not worn or torn. Um, not too tight, not too loose. Too tight, it could ruin the bearings to my components. Too loose, it could slip off and not work properly. I should have no more than three quarters of an inch of play in between my two pulleys. I'm gonna give a general overview of all my hoses on this side, making sure they're tight and secure at each end. Checking for any cuts, cracks, or bulges. And I'm also checking for any leaks. I'm listening for any air, air leaks. Going on to my driver's side. Am I going too fast? Mm -hmm. Here I have my coolant reservoir. My reservoir is not cracked or broken. It's tight and secure with its full set of nuts and bolts. Checking for any leaks under my reservoir. Making sure the fluid is also at its proper level. Both caps are on tight and secure. Not cracked, broken, or missing. Hoses coming out of my reservoir have no cuts, cracks, or bulges, secured at each end, and I'm checking for any leaks. Here I have my oil dipstick. This is where I'll be checking my oil level. If the oil level were to be low, here I have my intake. That's where I would add my oil. Making sure both caps are on, tight and secure, not cracked, broken, or missing. Here in the bottom, I have my water pump. My water pump is not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. It's tight and secure with its full set of nuts and bolts. I'm checking for any leaks. The hose coming out of my water pump has no cuts, cracks, or bulges. Tight and secure at each end. I'm checking for any leaks. My water pump and my alternator are both belt-driven components. Going on to my power steering reservoir. The reservoir is not cracked or broken. It's tight and secure with its full set of nuts and bolts. Checking for any leaks under the reservoir. Making sure the fluid is at its proper level. Both caps are on, tight and secure. Not cracked or broken, not missing. If you follow this hose coming out of my reservoir, I'll take you to my steer box, making sure the hose has no cuts, cracks, or bulges. It's clamped properly at each end, and I'm checking for any leaks. If you follow this other line, uh, other hose coming out of my steer box, follow it back and take you to my power steering pump. I'm gonna be checking, making sure the hose has no cuts, cracks, or bulges. It's clamped properly at each end, and I'm also checking for any leaks. My power steering pump itself is not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. It's tight and secure with its full set of nuts and bolts. I'm checking for any leaks. Here in the back, 
I have my main airline, which will take you to my air compressor. Let me do it right here. Making sure the airline has no cuts, cracks, or bulges. It's clamped properly at each end, and I'm listening for any air leaks. Air compressor itself is not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. It's tied secure with its full set of nuts and bolts, and I'm listening for any air leaks. My air compressor and my power steering pump are both gear driven components. Going on to my air valve, making sure it's not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. It's tied secure with its full set of nuts and bolts, and I'm listening for any air leaks. Checking all my air lines, making sure they're tied secure at each end. Checking for any cuts, cracks, or bulges. I'm also listening for any air leaks. Going on to my steering column, making sure it's nice and straight. It's not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. U joints at each end are well lubricated, not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. Trying to secure with a full set of nuts and bolts. Just making sure I have no more than two inches of play on my steering column while turning on it. Following my steering column down, I'll take it to my steer box. My steer box is not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. It's tied secure with its full set of nuts and bolts. I'm checking for any leaks. If my steer box were to be leaking, it would, it would, it would need to be replaced before I uh, continue my trip. Yeah. Going on to my suspension. Here I have my spring mounts. My spring mounts are not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. Tied secure with its full set of nuts and bolts. <clears throat> Here on the bottom, I have my leaf springs, making sure I have a full set of leaf springs. Making sure they're not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. Following that down, I'll take you to my mounting pad and my U-bolts. Making sure my mounting pad is in its proper position. It's not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. Rubber stopper is not missing to prevent any metal-to-metal -metal contact. U-bolts going around my mounting pad are not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. They're tied secure with their full set of nuts and bolts. Here in the back, I have my shock absorber. My shock absorber is not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. Tied secure with its full set of nuts and bolts. Checking for any leaks on my shock absorber. If it were to be leaking, my shock absorber will need to be replaced before I continue my trip. Going on to my steering leakage. My steering leakage consists of four parts, which is my pitman arm, my drag link, my swing arm, like here. It's behind the brake chamber. And my tie rod ends. Making sure all these parts are not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. Tie and secure with their full set of nuts and bolts. Making sure the joints on each part are well lubricated. Making sure my castle bolts are tied secure with its proper cotter pin in the lock position. I should have three castle bolts. One, two, and three. Going down, here I have my airline, which takes you to my brake chamber. Making sure the airline itself is clamped properly at each end. Checking for any cuts, cracks, or bulges, and I'm listening for any air leaks. My brake chamber is not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. It's tied secure with its full set of nuts and bolts, and I'm listening for any air leaks. Clamp going around my brake chamber is not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. Time secure with its full set of nuts and bolts. In the back, I have my push rod and my slack adjuster. Making sure they're not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. In the proper position, time secure with its proper cotter pin. If I were to have more than one inch of play while my brakes were off, I would get a 9 16th wrench to my adjusting bolt, do a full swing clockwise until it stops, and a quarter swing counterclockwise. If I were to adjust this one, I would, uh, this brake chamber, I would adjust the rest so I could brake evenly. Going on to my brake jump, I'm going to be checking through the inside and through the outside, through the ventilation holes here. Making sure it's not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. I'm checking the inside for any white powder or black powder. White powder will indicate that the brakes overheated and a fire extinguisher was used. Any black powder will indicate that there's metal to metal rubbing. I'm also checking for any fluid leaks on the inside. Any fluid leaks will indicate that my inner axle seal is busted and needs to be replaced. Also making sure that my brake pad has no less than a quarter inch of life left. Going on to my tires, these are my steers. Checking the inside of my wall and the outside out of my wall for any cuts or bulges. I'm also checking my tread for any nails or screws that would cause a flat. Here in the front, recaps are not permitted. My thread life should be no less than 4 30 seconds of an inch. Air pressure should be between 85 to 100, unless told differently by the manufacturer. Going on to my rim and wheel, making sure it's not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. Making sure I have a full set of lug nuts. I'm checking for any rust around the lug nuts. Any rust will indicate that they are loose and need to be tightened or replaced. I'm also going to be checking my hub, making sure it's not cracked or broken. It's tied secure with its full set of nuts and bolts. I'm checking for any leaks. Any leaks will indicate that the seal has busted and needs to be replaced. If I were to need to check my oil level, I would check it through my cap. I would take the cap off, dip my finger in, check for the proper level. If I were to need to add oil, I would do it through the intake. Here I have my valve stem. 
This is where I'll be adding air pressure to my tire, making sure it's free of any contact to the rim. It's not dent, cracked, broken, or illegally welded. And I'm listening for any air leaks.